What is the story behind Canuck Chase? Stay tuned after this. What's up, Grayson Report? I hope I find you well. I found this article by accident. I have never heard of it. So let's dive in. So this is the ghost of Canuck Chase unraveling the mysteries of the haunted woodland. This is from Haunted Rooms. Canuck Chase, or the Chase as it's known to locals, is a 26-square-mile forest and is designated area of outstanding natural beauty in the heart of Staffordshire. For hundreds of years, the area has been experiencing some crazy paranormal activity and supernatural phenomenon, from child spirits and the pigman to UFOs and werewolves. Its mystical pedigree is known worldwide. Anything with werewolves, count me in. In this article, we discuss the infamous black-eyed child and all of the other mysteries surrounding Canuck Chase, plaguing locals for centuries. Black-eyed child. Just hearing that sounds creepy or eerie. Where better to start than with the most infamous ghost story associated with Canuck Chase, the Black-Eyed Child. The legend of the Black-Eyed Child began in the late 70s when a young couple claimed to have encountered a strange girl with entirely black eyes while walking through the woods. According to Laura, the Black-Eyed eyed child appears suddenly and asks for help usually in a childlike voice however those who have encountered her have reported feeling a sense of overwhelming fear and ease often before they even see her face those who've seen her say she was dressed in old-fashioned clothing and have completely black eyes with no visible white iris white or iris people who've claimed to encounter have reported feeling as though they are being hypnotized or controlled by her after encountering her, some have even reported experiencing physical symptoms such as nausea or headaches. Some eyewitnesses are sure the girl isn't of this world as the way she moves is unlike any human as she seemingly transports from tree to tree. Castle Ring, a portal to another world? Castle Ring is a Celtic hill fort dating back to 500 BC. Some of its defenses are still visible today and look an eerie sight surrounded by dense woodland. Castle Ring has a sinister past as the Celtic tribe known as the Corn Novi that used to call it home are believed to have performed satanic rituals and blood sacrifices on the hill. The hill is also believed to be a supernatural portal all around this area, there have been sightings of werewolves, a pigman, demonic black dogs, UFOs, Slenderman, and even Bigfoot. The most famous Canuck Chase ghost sighting. As well as the terrifying sighting of otherworldly creatures, the forest has experienced a lot of ghostly sightings too. First Marquise of Angelisi. One famous ghost is Henry Willem Paget. First Marquise of Angelisi. The Paget family home was... Boo Desert, which stood on the south eastern edge of Canuck Chase, and he would use the land as his personal hunting ground. His ghost has been seen riding horseback through the woods, often accompanied by a pack of ghostly hounds. Soldier ghosts. The ghosts of World War I and World War II soldiers have also been seen wandering around the Canuck Chase War Cemetery. During the war, there was a large military camp at Canuck Chase, which the New Zealand Rifle Brigade used. There was also a prisoner of war hospital that had a capacity for up to a thousand patients. In total, there are over five thousand burial here. Burials here, the majority of which are German and Austrian. Other ghosts. In addition to these ghosts, there have been numerous reports of other supernatural entities in Canuck Chase. One such ghost is that of an old man with a cane and a wide brim hat. He had been seen wandering through the woods and is thought to be a former gamekeeper. The ghost of a Bed ragged woman has also been reported, often seen wandering through the woods in a dazed and confused state. Another ghostly apparition is that of a parachutist who appears to be stuck in midair, perpetually falling from the sky. Ooh, that would be kind of cool to see. A phantom cyclist has also been reported who is said to ride his bicycle along the paths of the woods, disappearing suddenly before the eyes of astonished onlookers. Finally, the ghost of a young monk has been spotted wandering through the woods, appearing lost and confused. 
So guys, have any of you heard of the Canuck chase? Comment below. Um, as I said earlier, I've never heard about of it. It sounds like a cool place to go with all the hauntings. Um, as always, guys, I do go live every Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be there, be squared, stay spooky, guys. Sweet nightmares, and I will see you on the next one. <laughs>